New Zealand is the breadbasket of the world. And we can grow anything. We can do it cheaply because we've got relatively few pests, few diseases. We've been isolated all this time. We're in a perfect condition to grow the best stuff. Any threat that is undermining this ability of ours to do this, it's got to get out. Can't get in. One small incursion, one hint uh, of uh, something going wrong with biosecurity in New Zealand and our reputation can be severely dented. Our income relies on us being able to export our primary industries so if we don't have that anymore your lovely lifestyle will be reduced. Talking to kids about biosecurity and why it's important for a small country like New Zealand to have biosecurity measures in place. It's for your exporters, it's for your importers, it's for your forest and bird people, it's for your farmers. It's basically for everyone, so it's just about being a good New Zealander. Every part of commerce can be affected. We're a 700 or coming up to $700 million industry. You know, all of the jobs that rely through the pack houses into the orchards, they're all the people that suffer. There's probably nowhere else in the world that takes it so seriously as New Zealand. We are entirely dependent on good agricultural production and also on protecting our natural environment for tourism. Very serious consequences if we don't get this right. There are new uh, problems evolving all the time. There's um, an insect called a marmorated stink bug. Foot and mouth, heaven forbid. No one organisation can actually deliver what's going to be required in the worst case scenario. It's all about that New Zealand Inc. rally. We can't expect MPI to manage this. Uh, this is a, a responsibility for all of us. We're learning off each other as to what we can and should do going forward. We've got skin in the game and we're committing to working to improve biosecurity. Everyday New Zealanders should get involved in the importance of biosecurity because that's part of the learning. And that it's not just us but it's a responsibility for all New Zealanders. If we don't participate and agree what needs to be done going forward, we can't then just throw rocks and complain that not enough is being done. So to me, this is the opportunity for us to collectively agree what we want from our biosecurity system. And then we can look at, well, how can we achieve that together? The biosecurity direction statement will be at that high level, but it's about the actions that are taken as a result of that, that are going to make the difference. And that's where those partnerships, the collaboration, the, the togetherness is going to make the difference. And that's where industry need to get involved, be part of the conversation and step forward. It's not just MPI's domain to look after biosecurity. There's DOC, the Ministry for the Environment. And don't, don't forget the regional councils, the landowners, Māori, iwi, Everybody is part of this. This is a big picture for New Zealand. We've got to be on board with that, surely. Mm -hmm.